Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to discuss how to fix this file is too big to recycle in Windows 10 or 11. This is an error message you get when you press delete on something and it doesn't fit in the recycle bin. It's very important for me to explain to you how this works so that you understand what your options are, which are kind of limited. You have two choices. Don't use the recycle bin or a lot more room to your recycle bin. Sorry, make that three. Number three, if you don't see this message that often, just go ahead and click OK and delete it and don't worry about it. But if you got to get it to the recycle bin, we'll get you there. All right, so here's what you need to know. Your recycle bin uses about 5% of your hard drive. As you can see here in my screenshot, one of the problems with this is a one terabyte is not a one terabyte drive because you have hidden partitions, etc., that don't count in your main drive that Windows is installed on. So you end up with an oddball number. 5855. So what I did was just to show you, since it uses about 5%, there you have it. 5% of one terabyte is about 50 gigabytes. And yes, I had to use a calculator for that. Stop it. Stay in school, kids. All right, look it. So now we know this ballpark 50 gigs. That gives us something to play with. So you got to kind of figure that out based on your hard drive. And what you can do is you can actually up the size. Let me show you how. And here's where you get to two of the options. Right click on your recycle bin and hit properties. Right on your desktop here. And as you can see, I'm in my virtual machine. So I'm actually using a fraction of the space. I'm using 60 gigs on my drive, which frees up somewhere around 50, 51 for my recycle bin. So here's what you can do. Well, you can delete your recycle bin more often too. I almost forgot about that one. If you use up 3%, 4%, 5% or more, of your recycle bin, you go delete a large file, you run out of space really quickly just for the recycle bin. So you can actually click here and use don't move files to the recycle bin. Not always a big fan of that, but I do know some geeks. They know if they're deleting it, they're content, so knock yourself out. I gotta be honest with you, all the years I've used computers, I've never considered turning it off. Just, you never know when you're gonna need something back. So custom size becomes more interesting. So what I like to explain to you here I find an interesting way to do is just do the math. So you know you're at 5%, so in this case, 5088, so you can double that. And again, pay, take note, these numbers don't have to matter. This could be 5,000. Just kind of round it off in your head so you're not doing math like, you know, me, unless you're really good at it. So if I want to double my space of 5088, I could actually just say 10,000. I better get to the zero in there. It's going to get real small. Now I've doubled my space. So you want to figure that out as you go and click apply when you're all set. The reason for that is it depends on the size of the files you have, how big your hard drive is, how big your recycle bin is, and whether you need to delete them. But it's very important to understand what that number means so that you don't reserve too much space for your recycle bin either. So I usually like to go to 10%. For example, if I've got a one terabyte drive, I've probably got, hopefully, plus a backup drive, I've probably got plenty of room, so it's no big deal here for me to set aside 100 gigabytes but typically most people aren't doing files much over four five ten gigabytes even movies and stuff like that but again keep that in mind so you want to do your math let's say you are working with movies and you know that you've got 20 30 40 50 gigabyte files for example if it's possible you're never going to get your recycle bin big enough and you're kind of stuck with this so delete means delete a better option might be to get a second hard drive or get a cloud backup service and back the stuff up until you know you don't need it anymore because once it's gone, it's gone. So there's a few options, keeping in mind that the recycle bin, obviously now that you see this, has its limitations as to how much room it can delete for you. So there are pretty much all your options I can think of. There you have it. That's how you can kind of fix this file's too big to recycle in Windows 10 or 11. You all know the drill, I hope. If you don't, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click subscribe. We always appreciate that. We'd love to have some new followers. Click like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. We read them all. We reply when we can. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.